My name is Christian. And my name is Adriana. We moved to Southern California a few years ago. After buying our home, we knew early on that we'd want a type of garden that is not only nice to be around, but also appropriate for the Southern California environment. Coming from New York City, neither one of us had much experience with gardening, much less garden design. So from the beginning, there was a lot of trial and error and learning from mistakes. We quickly embraced the idea that bringing on board a landscape designer with specific knowledge of California native environments would be the next step, which would help us transform a neglected front lawn into a space that's both natural and inviting. These plants are drought tolerant and remarkably robust. They've evolved to make the most of the little water they receive, which here is supplemented by low impact irrigation. And the plants are so dynamic in their colors, their contribution to the sustenance of urban wildlife, the pollinators, which are vital to a healthy ecosystem. For our garden, the native plants include mountain mahogany, coyote mint, California sagebrush, also known as cowboy cologne, yarrow, California lilac, Indian mallow, tobacco sage, California poppies, and many more. It all comes together to recreate a California environment in the middle of a city. I love the variety of fragrances. Nothing smells the same. I love how the garden inspires us to pay more attention. One thing that surprises me is the timing of when a plant flowers. Some are early, others are later. The colors constantly change. We stop trimming the plants back which gives them a chance to really expand and show off their beauty. Nature can teach us about resilience. The design of nature reveals how plants accommodate for times of scarcity, when there's no water, and times when there's plentiful water. These plants are optimized for getting as much from the sun and the environment as both the sky and land will offer. And if we embrace that, then maybe we can also appreciate the abundance which surrounds us. An unexpected benefit of cultivating a garden like this is how it serves as a catalyst for conversation. It's been a really wonderful way to get to know some of our neighbors who might not otherwise have stopped to talk to us. I can't wait to witness how the garden continues to evolve, transform, and surprise. <laughs>